Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comics. Today I just left a comic book shop and you're not gonna believe what happened. So let's get started. All right guys, something crazy happened to me at a comic book shop. I actually went to the shop, right? First time I ever been. I hit a couple antique shops and I got a couple books. I actually got this uh, Silver Surfer, this Fantastic Four, and then this one right here. I paid six bucks for this. And then we swung by a, a comic book shop. First, let me pop the footage real quick of the antique shop right here. Board books, I'm gonna grab that. Spawn, number seven. Decent grade, number six, three dollars. Basement number 10, return of Mojo. Doesn't have a price. Two books. Maybe they'll have number 88. I don't know. This is a decent one too. I think I'm gonna grab a couple of these and uh, some more to dig through. So we'll see if we can find anything else. This place is pretty cool though. Y'all check out this vintage comic book rack. How cool is this? This thing is old, and I think it's probably from like the 60s, 70s. Comics for all ages. This thing is really cool, and they wanted uh, $625, and they was firm on the price. I thought it was That's pretty cool. cool. I want to pop in the video real quick. All right, guys. No uh, Wolverine 88 first Deadpool and Wolverine battle, but I did get this Fantastic Four number 89 for $4, and then I got this um, Secret Wars number 12. This is the last issue of the mini series, and then I actually got this Silver Surfer. One of my buddies is looking for Silver Surfer, so I picked this up for two bucks for him. We got Silver Surfer number 32. I paid six dollars plus tax for these three books, so two dollars a piece. Not too bad. And uh, we're gonna try to hit a comic book shop and maybe one more antique shop before we hit the house. So, yep. All right, so we got these books. So I went to this comic book shop looking for some some keys, some good stuff, and I actually found. All right, guys, so I went to the comic book shop. It's the first time I've ever been, and um, I was digging through some books and stuff, and I seen that uh, the guy had like a little office right beside where he uh, checks uh, people out in and out where the cash register was at. So there's a little office right now, an office, a little desk, and he had some comic books there. It said $8.99. So I was looking through some of them. You can tell that there's a desk there and a computer there. So I was guessing, I could come to find out he was still pricing the books. But I grabbed, I grabbed this uh, New Mutants number 87, first appearance of Kate. I thought it was $8.99. Uh, $8 So I grabbed it and uh, I brought it to the register and there was the there was a lady cashing me out. I guess it's his wife. His the, the guy wasn't there. He was actually in the bathroom. He was in there for like 20 minutes. I guess he had diarrhea or something because he was in there for a long time. But anyways, when I brought it to the registry, she said, um, where'd you get this comic book from? I told her where it was at. And uh, so it was $8.99. So I was like, it's $8.99, right? She said, yeah, but let me check real quick. So she went back in the back and she, she was like, no, um... We gotta uh, reprice this. So I done got it for $8.99. That's the reason I want it. it was, actually, it was a really, really good deal. So she went back in the back and she talked to the guy and stuff and she started looking up on the computer and it took forever and ever. And she was like, these prices are all over the place. Like some's going for 50, some's going for, one sold for 10. She has some kind of different website, I guess that uh, like comic shops use and stuff. So she was looking. So she gave me a, a price. She said, you can get it for $100. And while she was waiting, I was looking up sold prices, and there was a 9.2 that just sold for a hundred dollars. And this book was not graded or none of that, so she they wanted a hundred dollars for that book. It was ungraded, which is fine, but you know it was in an 8.99 bin. And when I took it out, she changed the price. Also, I don't want to sell it to me for what the bin the bin price was, which I think was kind of kind of messed up. But I know I mean you got more valuable books, you want more money out of it. But I think. That he shouldn't even had it on the floor. The the he shouldn't even had it in that box, or he shouldn't even had it for sale 
it's not my fault that they put it in a box ready to sell because there was another pile of books that you know didn't have no prices or had nothing on it but there was an actual box and that's where i found it at so i figured that he should honor his uh you know what he had it for sale it's kind of messed up that you change the price when i get to the uh to the counter but i know stuff happens so they wanted a hundred dollars for it and it was ungraded that current condition i would give that book probably like an eight eight five so i mean i, I was I, I what i did is i offered i said well I'll, I'll give you 50 for it just like like it is and uh she walked back there in the back again was talking to her husband he wouldn't actually come back and talk to me because i think he knew that it was kind of messed up how he was doing the whole situation you don't have a book, a bin, and it says a dollar bin, and I pick out a dollar book that says a dollar, and I bring it to the register and say, oh, no, this is going to be 50 bucks. I mean, I don't know. Which it wasn't a dollar, it was eight ninety nine, but that whole situation was kind of, and I guess, you know, that just happens because they have comic books, they have Funko Pops, they have statue figures, they have games and stuff up top. It's really cool. The shop is really cool. It's just the way they, they you can tell they ain't know much about comic books, even though it's a comic book shop. Well, it says comics, toys, and games, and stuff like that. So I don't know how that whole thing was supposed to work out. But I offered him 50 bucks, And just tell me what y'all think about the whole situation. You think he should honor the price of whatever the box says? Or I know he might have missed it. And I mean, it is what it is. But anyways, I did grab some, some books. And I actually got that same book at another comic book shop. I got the book I wanted. only paid 60 bucks for it. And it's actually already graded. So something good, good, good happened out of this whole situation. Sometimes, you know, stuff don't work out for some reason. And I was nice to the person. I just, I, get, I did give him an offer for 50 bucks. I was going to get it uh, pressed and clean and maybe get it signed or something uh, one day. So I, was gonna, I made him an offer for 50, but I actually got this 9.0 for 60 bucks. So I think, I think I did pretty good on that. And I actually got a couple other books. So let's go ahead and jump into this real quick. But comment down below what you think about the whole situation how I could, maybe I should have did something different or maybe they should have done something different or what would y'all do if y'all was in that situation? You grab a book and uh, let's just say, let me grab a book real quick. I right, say you grab this book at the dollar bin and now you bring it up to the register or you grab it or I can get a bigger book, but whatever. I'm just saying you grab this out of the dollar bin and you put it on the register and they's like, mm, this actually, did you get this out of that bin over there? But yes, uh, I know you see me over there, but I didn't say no. I mean, she still, it was only me in there. My kids actually went to the ice cream shop. So I didn't have a, a little bit of time. So I was kind of in the time course. She took forever, like looking up the prices and stuff, which is fine. I mean, I know that stuff. And I said, um, I'm only going to be here for a little bit of time. And I'm actually there, got about five minutes. So, I mean, if you can't do it, I mean, if you can't get a price on it, it's no big deal. Maybe next time I'll catch you when I'm uh, around this area. But you know, nothing really, she kind of was walking back and forth. Her husband, I guess, does the comic books, but he wouldn't even come out and talk to me. He was like in the back. She said he was in the bathroom and then there was a door that opened, that was open. And then she came back and shut the door. She kept going back and forth. I didn't know what the whole big deal was with that whole situation, but I don't know. Anyways, so a dollar book you put on the register and they say, oh no, it's going to be $25. So everything happens for a reason. You know, I try to be nice and, you know, stuff like this happens to me. It is, it's just, you know, how you got to handle stuff. Well, let me show you some books I found. I got Avengers number 70. This is actually the first, or actually the origin of Squadron Sinister. Awesome little cover. Got them battling out the Avengers number 70. Then we got Ghost Rider number three. Cool little cover. It does have some pin marks and stuff on it right here. But I only paid four bucks for it, so not too bad. Then we got Godzilla number one. This book came out in 1977. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's the first comic book appearance of Godzilla. But for five bucks, I went ahead and picked it up. This book was hot with, uh, was it Godzilla and uh, King Kong was battling out. And I think the person who played Eleven off Stranger Things, she was in it. But I think it was around like $60, $70, but for $5... I went ahead and picked it up. See, when I go to a lot of comic book shops and a lot of shows, comic book conventions and shows, I see a lot of these books are on the wall and I kind of memorize them. So I know that they have some kind of value and they have some kind of first appearance or something going on with them. That's the reason they have them on the back wall back there. So when I see them up there, I kind of try to remember stuff and I might not know exactly, oh, this is the second appearance of such and such or whatever. But I kind of remember from there. And, you know, I, I do a lot of... Uh, 
looking up books and stuff like that. So I kind of know a little bit. But um, you can there's always room to grow and learn about stuff. And I don't, obviously I don't know everything. But um, next book we got is Thor number two twenty six. This is actually the second appearance of the Fire Lord. And they had this for five ninety nine, but this was actually in the two dollar bin. So I grabbed that one for two bucks. Another two dollar book, but I actually didn't know it had damage right here in the top corner, or the lower top corner. We got um. Marvel team up Spider Man and Human Torch number two. Cool cover though, older book. Um, two dollars. I'm going to pick it up. It is in a little bit rough condition, but I went ahead and grabbed it. And um, the guy actually threw in a cable card too. Really cool. And then the next book I got to close it out. Um, it does have some, I don't know how this book uh got so good of a grade because it is messed up right here pretty good. But uh, Submariner number one. This is the origin of Submariner retold. Y'all, y'all want to see the grade? Already graded. I paid sixty dollars for this one too. Um, the guy had really good deals on uh, slabs. It's just his raw stuff was kind of. He had them priced as slabs. The grade right here, Submariner number one, two point oh, and it does have a big rip right here, and. Some issues right here. But for a 2-0, I think whoever graded this book gave them a good break for a 2.0. Look how Submariner looks, though. Like, look at the, his uh, staff, and he just looks like a beast. The thing is with Black Panther, it was good and everything, but look how he does his eyebrows and stuff. I just think he did, they could have did a character a little bit different. And look how strong he looks. The other, he, the other guy didn't really fit the role too good. But um, Black Panther was it was pretty good. But um, this book was hot at that time, but now obviously it's cooled down. That guy actually prices his books, like I said, pretty decently. And you know, for sixty bucks, I'm gonna pick this up all day. I think personally, it's probably worth about a hundred fifty dollars. So I went ahead and grabbed it for sixty bucks. But anyways, y'all, if um, what would y'all have done in that situation as far as finding a book? And that actually happened to me another time before. Before I had YouTube and any of that stuff, I actually grabbed a couple books and it was right when COVID hit. So I understand that prices are crazy high, this and that. And um, so that's kind of what happened. And again, at this guy's shop, there's a box that has the price of the books on front of the box. And he it was at his desk, but he had other books there. He had two other boxes right here. He had his computer right here and he had the comic books that he was pricing and he had the other stuff in the box. I think he priced it because the lady told me that uh, the last, she, she seen a price that was sold for $10, um, the last sold price for that game or that uh, New Mutants book. So he put, he, I guess he sent it for $10 and put it in that bin. And then when she started looking it up, because it said first appearance on the very back, I don't think she knew much about comic books. But um, after she started looking up, then, uh, you know, stuff started changing. But it is what it is. It, it happens. Maybe he just looked real quick and said it was only $10. But um, she thought maybe they messed up and should have put another zero. But that book's not going for a whole bunch of money, especially in the raw form. It was, like I said, it was about an 8, 8.5. But I just wanted for the personal collection just to get it signed maybe one day or just something like that. And there is room to grow on that book. So Cable was actually a good book to pick up. The bad thing is there's so many issues of that book out. New Mutants is everywhere. I mean, it's not like a super rare book. If you can get a newsstand, 9.8, but just for a lower grade book, $50 was a fair offer, I think. And, um, you know, that's just what happened to me today, y'all. And, uh, again, make, just comment down below what you think about the whole situation. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace.